This room is marked with the letter J and it's called the Grave Dig. In it are three different graves. You can attempt to dig up any or all of the graves in order to get the items that are in there. In this room there's a chance of receiving a random cursed item. So the grave with one skull means that if you roll a one you receive a random cursed item. If you roll a two, three, four, five, or six you will receive the axe instead. The grave with two skulls means that if you roll a one or a two you receive a random cursed item. If you roll a three, four, five, or six you get the seven gold. This third grave has three skulls. If you roll a one, two, or a three, you will receive a random cursed item. If you roll a four, five, or six, you get a lock pick of your choice. Now, you don't have to dig up any grave if you don't want to. You could simply use a chip to move into the room and use a chip to move through. You're not required to dig up any graves. It's your choice how much risk you want to take. So let's see what the green player does. He is going to use an action to move into the room and he's going to go ahead and attempt to uh, dig up this grave in hopes of getting an axe. On a roll of a one he'll get a random cursed item. On a two, three, four, five, or six he will get a weapon. Three, this player will now add a weapon to his card. At this point he's feeling lucky so he could choose to leave the room but he's going to choose to attempt the second grave for the seven gold. Just a one in three chance of seven gold or cursed item doesn't sound too bad to it. So he's going to put down an action chip and roll a die. If he rolls a one or a two, he gets a random cursed item. If he rolls a three, four, five, or six, he gets seven gold. Four, he collects seven gold. Now, lock picks are very difficult to come by in the dungeon. By one quick die roll and one action, it's possible for him to get the missing lock pick that he may not be able to get at the end of the game. So he's going to risk the 50-50 chance of getting a random cursed item or getting the lock pick. So he's going to use an action and roll a die. On a 1, 2, or 3, he gets a random cursed item. On a 4, 5, or 6, he'll get a lock pick of his choice. Let's see what happens. Two, he failed. However, he has a re-roll. So he's going to go ahead and use that re-roll and re-roll the die. Let's see how lucky he is. Five, he successfully got a lock pick of his choice by using the re-roll. In this case, he's getting a number three lock pick because that's the last one he could not collect. If this player was unsuccessful and did not have a re-roll, he would receive a random cursed item. What happens is he's going to roll for a random item and he will place a black chip over that spot on his card. He will not be able to use that spot on his card for the remainder of the game. Let's see what happens. He rolls a one which is a weapon. So that blocks this spot on his card. He will only be able to carry two weapons at most until the end of the game. You can only dig up each grave one time. So after you dig it up once, you can't put an action chip again to trade again. Only one time during your turn. If you meet a player in the room, duel them first before attempting to dig up any graves.